brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear, uh, rear window washer pump. Um, we're going to do this on a 03 Honda Odyssey, same as any 99 to 04 Odyssey. And the only tools you'll need is a flat blade screwdriver, as well as an 8mm and 10mm wrenches or socket and ratchet. In the video, you'll notice I use a lift to lift the vehicle up. Um, not necessary, I just do this to help me video. Uh, you don't need to jack up or lift the vehicle to do this. Okay, open up the hood of your van, and there are 11 clips. These clips are pretty easy, just use a flat blade screwdriver. Kind of pry underneath, pry on one side, pry on the other. Sometimes they're a little hard to get going. Then either the middle comes out, the middle came out on that one, and the clip comes out, or sometimes you have to pry the whole clip out. Let's see, let's do another one here. So this one, pop the middle up, and then the whole clip came out on that one. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, I'm missing one there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven of those clips. And I'm just going to fast forward here as I remove those clips. Um, sometimes uh, sand and stuff can get into them and make them hard to pry up, so just be careful. You don't want to break the tops of them off. Uh, just kind of pry on one side carefully, pry on the other side and then go to the next one. Okay, now looking up underneath the van, you'll find some of the same clips. Okay, there should be four of them. One, two, uh, third, and fourth here that are missing. And once again, fast forward, and this is where you'll really find um, that they can get gummed up and mucked up with sand and are hard to get out. Uh, and actually, I think on this one, I end up just prying one of them out uh, and breaking it off because it doesn't really come out the right way. Now on each side near the wheel there's a 10 millimeter bolt right down here. Okay and then up inside the fender more there is an 8 millimeter bolt right up in here. And again, fast forwarding, use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, or a wrench would work as well. And on this uh, vehicle, that 10 millimeter bolt is rusted into the clip, so it actually just ends up tearing the plastic underneath. Um, that's something that might happen. It's not really no way to prevent it. Um, and then I go and do the 8 millimeter bolt, and it comes out no problem, and repeat that for the other side. Are you ready to remove the bubble cover? Pull out, push down a little bit. Pull out. And this, actually, this cover can come off. And on the other side, pull out. Bring it right out. And I think on some vehicles, they'll have fog lights. If you have fog lights, you want to reach in there and disconnect them. Okay, over on the passenger side, you'll find your washer bottle and pumps. And you can see the pumps just pull out. You could use a flat blade screwdriver to help pry them out. Um, and if you have fluid in your reservoir, it's going to pour out, obviously, at this point. Have a catch pan underneath for it. Um, twist and remove that pump tube. And then there's a little clip for the wiring harness. Use pliers to squeeze the clip teeth. Pull that out. Disconnect the harness. And now reinstall, reverse the procedure. You'll want to switch out the rubber washer that's in the washer bottle. So I put the new one in there, new pump from 1A Auto, put it in place, reconnect the harness, and then clip it back into place on the side of the washer bottle. Okay, so we're going to remove the cap. Our funnel has a little screen in it. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it's got a screen to filter out the stuff. And just refill our reservoir. While we're doing that, 
watch it down here make sure nothing's leaking okay inside the car with the key on that front one's working okay before I put the bumper cover back on I'll just kind of pull out the leaves and some of the stuff that's stuck in here and I just have two of my clips they don't have any centers so what I'm going to do is put the bumper cover up into place okay make sure that the tabs here go up on top of the brackets underneath the tail lights okay and once you get it pretty much into place I'm just going to put these two clips right on top here just to hold things in place okay over here, pull it in. My little, this is actually the clip that the screw goes into, it just fell out. So I'll make sure that's up in there. And push the bumper cover down a little bit. It's going underneath there. up on top of this clip, put them down to clear that little screw. Get the other side in place. here, pull these two clips back up and out, put this down in the place it needs to go down underneath there, In. I, I took the centers out of all my clips just to make them so they go in nice and easy. Except for this one, the center wouldn't come out of it. These little closeouts didn't quite go up there correctly. That's right. You just kind of forcing it into the right place. So over on this side. Okay. And then I only had two clips on the bottom. So I'm going to put them right on this inside one. Make sure it goes through, it goes through two things. It goes through both your bumper cover and this part here. And in. I'm actually, so I'm putting the middle back in there. Squeeze it right up through here. And squeeze everything together. Push it in. Do the same thing over here. Okay, and I'll kick it into high speed here. I just put the rest sure of those clips in. And then all uh, grab pieces. all the centers and clip them into place and to lock them. Squeeze like that. Eight millimeter screw in here. Here. Let's put this one in on this side. Okay, on this 
this side, my 10 millimeter bolt was rusted in place. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.